everyone. I thought I could vlog again today. I didn't go running this morning. It's Saturday. I usually go on a long run, you know that. But my body was so tired and not having any running this week basically cut every run short. So I just did some yoga. And I'm going to Bremen in a few minutes. But before that, I wanted to tell you about the book I started last night, and that's Piranesi. I have no idea what the book is about. I know I wanted to read it because I really like Susanna Clarke's other books and everybody's raving about the book. So I waited for the paperback and I got it and started it last night, but I'm confused a little bit. Like I said, I have no idea what the book is about actually. So getting into the writing or the story or whatever it is, I'm only 10 pages and I kept falling asleep. I have to admit that. But I also read every paragraph at least twice. So I couldn't really wrap my mind around what was described or what was mentioned, the word that was created in the beginning. It was really hard to get into for me. Another thing that I'm confused by is her use of capitalization. In some parts, I can see what she wants to do, but that doesn't fit with other capitalization. So I'm confused there. I hope that clears up or it doesn't confuse me as much. and stop the reading flow because every time the word is capitalized that I don't understand why it's capitalized, I'm confused and I stop reading and think about it. That's really slowing me down. Another thing that surprised me was that going into the book, not knowing who the narrator is and starting reading it, I thought the narrator was a young girl. I don't know why, but for some reason in my head, I had the image of a young girl hiding behind the statue and whatever is going on. But a few pages in, the narrator is introduced as a 30-something man. And I don't know why, but we'll see what happens next. It's, it's fine. It's nothing bad that it's not a young girl as a narrator. I'm just confused why I thought it was a girl. And it also had me thinking about that people always complain that you have male points of view and the default is a male narrator. And I noticed for me, that's apparently not true. Anyways, I have to catch a train now and some more reading. And it's Sunday lunchish, let's say. I had a wonderful time yesterday in Bremen with my family. We had a lot of tasty food and I got some reading done on the way to Bremen and back. So I'm part one and two I've read in Peronesi. So the first two chapters, I guess. The whole book is written in journal entries. Have I mentioned that already? Probably not. Anyways, there's been a lot more world building and I noticed what I really enjoy about this book is that I'm constantly guessing what this world is, what's going on, who the two characters are. There's a narrator and someone he just calls the other and he's completely different in how he lives and how he reacts and dresses and I have some ideas of what's going on but I don't want to tell them to you because I think that's part of the joy of reading the book, that you're trying to figure out what actually is going on. What is the relationship between those two? What happened to the world? What kind of world is it? You get to learn how our narrator, Piranesi, sees the world. And I have discovered, I know why I thought he was a child, because there's some naivety and innocence in his narration and some internal goodness. He just believes in the good and enjoys what he sees and really appreciates the world and the things that are in it. And that just doesn't sound 30 something men. I don't know why, but anyways. So I am highly enjoying this book. I enjoy the mystery of it. It's not like a murder mystery, but the mystery of what is going on and putting that into perspective of other stories and ideas and concepts of society and world and everything that I know. And I think that also influences what I expect to happen or what I think is going on. Monday morning and I'm just getting ready for work, but I wanted to give you an update on Piranesi before. I've read quite a lot yesterday and I am so enjoying this book. I can't even put it into words. There's nothing much happening, but the writing and the characters, they just draw you in. And there has been a shift in character or in confusion. I said before that I didn't know what was going on, what the world was, and that the things were kind of confusing. 
but the main character always was very sure of where he was, who he was, and what was going on. And now the things have shifted that I feel much more confident about understanding the world, the events that happened in the past, and that led to the situation now. I understand the characters more, I understand the background more, but the main character now is starting to doubt his own memories. He's confused of what had happened, he's reading back in his old journals, finding entries he can't make any sense of, and is really confused. And I find this very interesting, this shift in, it's not perspective, but in understanding that as a reader, sometimes you are on the outside and you never know what's really going on until you figure it out. And now I figured it out, but I can watch the narrator being confused and out of the loop. And it's fascinating. Highly recommend this. I hope to finish this soon. And all of a sudden it's Saturday. I finished Piranesi just now. It took me all week because I was busy with work and couldn't focus. It's not the book's fault. It's literally life's fault. I really enjoyed it. I liked how the ending took another turn of looking at what identity is and playing with memory and how we remember ourselves. I like that. Let me put that down. The book ends on, I don't know, sort of an open ending. It is not completely satisfying in that it solves every question that it poses. I'm lacking words today. I still haven't figured out why sometimes there is capitalization. It seems random. It's not, I couldn't figure out the rule underlying it. So it feels random. If anybody knows why the capitalization is there and if there's a rule to it, please let me know in comments. Otherwise, also please let me know what you think about the book. Overall, I really enjoyed the book. I read the back of the book afterwards and it didn't make any sense to me. It doesn't really say anything about the book. I didn't feel it had any connection to the book or the things that were going on, or I completely misread or misunderstood the book. So what I'm going to do is look up reviews for it. I can highly recommend it to people who like stories that explore ideas and characters more than actual plot or strong events happening. I feel nothing much happened in the book. There's just a handful of characters that are slowly and quietly going through life or the situation they have, whatever life that is. It's exploring the ideas of worlds and different worlds and memory and identity and all of these things, but very quietly. And there are a lot of things mentioned that you could interpret or go deeper into what it all means. And I am not exactly sure I've reached the limit of what you can get out of the book. But what it doesn't have is a captivating story. It doesn't have fast events. It's not fast paced, it's rather slow. The diary entries make it feel personal in the writing or the narration. You're very close to the narrator, so you're deeply involved with the character. But other characters are only seen from the narrator's point of view. So you are also limited in your knowledge of the world and of the other people. It's very fascinating. I, I don't know who I want to recommend it to, but it's very popular, won prizes, so I guess it's very good. Oh, and a fun side note for our booktube community. On the author page, where all the prize nominations or the nominations for this book are listed, the booktube prize is included down there. So this is the end of the blog. Let me know in comments if you have read the book, because it feels like almost everyone has read the book but me, what you thought of it, what your ideas are around it, warn about spoilers if you give any, and thank you all for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.